Allegiant Stadium. We'll run back here, so they'll bring it out to the 25. Now here's Russell Wilson. I'll trade this offseason that saw him dealt from Seattle. And similar to his nickname, Russell Wilson has a dangerous mix of skills, the ability to throw from the pocket. Usually has his team in the playoffs competing for Super Bowl opportunities. First play, Wilson wants to throw it. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. Heck of a start, a 30-yard pickup on their first play from scrimmage. I think that typically we expect teams to save their home run plays for later in the game when they feel like they have an advantage over a defense. But in this case, they thought they had the advantage right away and took the shot on the first play of the game and completed it successfully. Throwing now, Wilson on first down. And that was going to be off target and incomplete. I will see more than trying to get him the football out of the backfield. They love what he can do in open space, and I believe that he creates mismatches they can explore. Second and ten, it's Wilson again. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Had an open man that time, man. Don't put a little too much heat on it, don't you think, Parker? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. That lead is a stop of a few yards shy of the line to gain. That'll go for a gain of seven. And that's going to bring up the fourth down. Here we go with Williams. And he's not even going to come close to picking up the first. They stop him right at the line of scrimmage. The Broncos unable to convert here on fourth. And this defense delivers a turnover on downs on the very first drive of the afternoon. So good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at their own 37. And some room to maneuver. And he'll be forced out of bounds all the way down inside the 20. It's a big play there for Vegas. 47 yards. So that run there, yeah, I don't know if it's overstating things to call it a thing of beauty, but in terms of football plays, that's as good as you're going to see. And what I really enjoyed about that run and what made it so impressive to me was how he improvised along the way. Sometimes on a big play, you just get the football and you take off in a straight line and go. But this time... How about the artistry of that play? That looked a little bit like a Picasso to me. Now on first down, Drake again. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. 58 yards rushing for him as he's got the afternoon off to a great start. That's a very nice game there. Confidence-building run. Love the execution up front. And the way he pressed the hole, absolutely perfect. Five yards from the end zone, first and goal. Here's Jacobs. And he's in. Touchdown, Raiders. Josh Jacobs, a five-yard touchdown run. And the Raiders will jump on top of the game's first score here this afternoon. So it takes him just three plays here to find the end zone. And you remember, of course, this was all set up by their defense. Yeah, they got the stop on fourth down. So I imagine the offense said to their defense, thank you very much for this great starting field position. And like you said, three plays later, they're in the end zone. Now for the extra point, Daniel Carlson. And that makes it 7-0 Vegas. The drive there only spanning three plays. And it was capped off by a touchdown run from Josh Jacobs. Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. And this will come out to the 25 as Hamler elects not to return it. So now the second drive offensively coming up for the Denver Broncos. And last time they were stopped on fourth down. Had a drive stalled out. We'll see how they respond this go around. 
I'm eager to see what their mindset is because moving the ball, feeling good, and then that abrupt stop on fourth down. Do they go back to the bench and go, oh, boy, they got something for us? Or do they go to the bench and say, we blew it ourselves. Let's get back out there and move the ball again. And is it different when you get stopped on fourth versus punt? Is that more motivation for the defense and more confidence? I think as a defense, you are so excited with a fourth down stop. Making a punt, that's your goal anyway. But a fourth down stop, that's almost a sign of disrespect that they went for it in the first place. And when you get that, you feel great about yourselves. And he's going to have a Broncos first down as he'll take this up to the 38-yard line. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. To throw is Wilson. And incomplete on the deep ball. As for them, he couldn't hang on to the pass. Throwing again on second and 10. Wilson. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. Well, you don't expect too many quarterbacks to be adept at breaking away from would-be tacklers, but this is uncommonly good right here as he's able to get away. Flush to his right. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. Certainly not a positive sign if you're the D coordinator and you see your guys give up that space so early in the game. Third down, that's when the clamps are supposed to come out, but his ability to create things with his legs makes things difficult. So here's a first and 10 now in Raider territory as they've got it to the 28-yard line. Off the option, here's Williams. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Now it's Wilson. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. Now Wilson. Open man, and that's Tim Patrick. And he will have a Broncos first down. They needed four. He doubled that. He wound up getting eight. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And the pass is caught. Touchdown, Denver. Jerry Judy. A 14-yard touchdown. And the Broncos are an extra point away from drawing level. McManus's point after is good, and we are tied at seven. So the drive goes 75 yards, 10 plays. And it's capped off by the touchdown run from Jerry Judy. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. Fields it right around the goal line. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. Up to midfield. Look at him go inside the 30. He will take this all the way. Touchdown, Raiders. I know a lot of special teams coaches, they just want to keep it away from him because that's what he can do. And others have egos that their players can't keep up with. And they say challenge him. Kick it to him. The way he runs as fast as he is, I wouldn't challenge him at all. I'd do everything possible to keep it away. He is just a blur when he gets a full head of steam, and he got a full head of steam there. Carlson on for the PAT. It's up and good, and it's 14-7 now here in the first quarter. If not the most exciting play we'll see in this game, the kick return all the way to the end zone for six points. So let's try this again after the kick return TD. Here's yet another kickoff. And we will not see an attempt to match that return touchdown as this will be a touchback and bring it out to the 25. The Broncos onto the field ready to start their next drive. And now 
nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Through one corner, 14-7, our score. Broncos football as we begin quarter number two. They had to run for no gain. Now they'll try again from the 25 on second and 10. They'll hand it off now. Williams. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven. Past the 30 to the 32. The offense on third down. They've been good. Three for four thus far. Here it's third and three. They'll try and run for it. Here's Williams. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. They're able to convert with a gain of four. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Now Wilson. That's complete. It's Okuebunam. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. Right about 20 yards on the pickup. Well, officially, they'll say it's going to go for 19. Previously, the understudy to Noah Fant. Albert Okawebanam finally gets his shiny combine, so we know he's an athlete and can really stretch the field if they use him right in this offense. I'd say that play right there is a nice illustration of what to expect. Here's the backup now, the former Badger, Melvin Gordon. And he'll get what he can up the middle, three yards. That'll bring up second down. Two minutes gone by, second quarter. On second down, Gordon once more. And he's going to be close to a first down as he gets this to the Raiders' 38. Trying to keep the drive going here. This is play number seven on third and two. Wilson. This is going to be incomplete. A misconnection there. He's hit on just 50% of his passes thus far. That's not where you want to be. Now you see the evolution of the game. You go back to the quarterbacks of all, 50% would be terrific because they threw the ball downfield almost every time they throw it. Now with the short passing game, you should be above 60% just to be in the average range. Yeah, 55 yards is anything but a given. You got to really concentrate on your red swing and proper technique. This time, though, he's unable to convert. Well, we talk a lot about explosive plays on offense. How about an explosive play on special teams? Certainly one there on the kick return for a touchdown. Now they're set up nicely at the 45-yard line after the missed field goal from 55. They'll begin on the ground with Jacobs. And a lane slow and materializing there as he'll get maybe a yard up to the 45. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. Second down, Jacobs once more. And he's got it across midfield and into Denver territory. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. Playing as a 3-4 front is really challenging for offensive linemen because they can do so many different things. But when you're running the football, if you can handle the nose tackle up front and it may be a guard can slide up to the second level and block a linebacker, that's when you have success running the football. And he is going to have the Raiders first down by a couple of yards as they're able to convert there on third and one. We've hit the two-minute mark of the second quarter, 14-7. to seven. Throwing on first down is Carr, eluding the pressure right. And they'll get this down to the 42-yard line. I think the defense surprised him there with that blitz on first down, but give him credit. Stayed cool under pressure and still found a way through the extra rushers for positive yardage. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. The sack there by Bradley Chubb. Coming off of a Pro Bowl season 2020, many of us were stunned when Bradley Chubb had zero sacks in 2021. 
That did come in only a seven-game season due to injuries. Cause for some concern, but he also had 19 and a half sacks in his first two years as a full-time starter. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. They'll get six there on the run, but it brings up fourth down. Well, the guys who are paid to make the tackles deserve some kudos there, but I think they deserve even bigger ones because in that situation, they had to be thinking pass. Loosened up defense, going to pass coverage. Instead, maybe they surprised him a little bit running the ball, yet they rallied to it and stopped him well short of a first down. And this is going to hit the goal line and continue on into the end zone for a touchback. The Broncos going to get one more possession in this first half. And the ball backed way up. So thinking with this amount of time on the clock, probably just sit on it and we'll see these two teams go to the lockers. Yeah, I don't think you want to overthink it in this situation. Either side of the ball, just go ahead and finish up the half and get on out and talk about it. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Delayed give there out of the gun. Defense was ready. And I'm not a big fan of a draw play out of the shotgun formation because the quarterback's not having much action where he's getting away from the line of scrimmage. He's catching the football, making a little head fake, and then handing it off. You should be able to read it as they did there. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gunn, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. The Raiders with the lead already, and they will get the football here as the second half is now underway. And he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21-yard line. The Raider offense ready to go here to start the third quarter. And they've got the lead CD. What do you expect from them in the second half? Well, I like what they were able to do on the ground in the first half because they had a lot of success running the ball, and I certainly think we'll see more of that. But I'd keep an eye on that defense, and I think their coaches up in the box will do the exact same thing. If they start to see one or two guys start to creep towards the line of scrimmage, that'll be licensed to take some shots downfield. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Jacobs going to try the middle. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. 44 yards now on the ground on just seven carries. I think that's a lot of shoulders just dropped there. And what I mean by that is they kind of want to relax a little bit because that was an important play call. They needed to pick up that first down at this stage of the game. Yeah, couldn't afford another quick drive and out. They'll stay on the ground with Jacobs. And no room that time, getting it to about the 46. Up the middle they go with Drake. And he's got it across midfield and into Denver territory. It appears he'll be a few inches short, so nine yards on the gain officially, and it'll be third down. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. Jacobs, and he's going to have the first down at about the 38. And even seven yards on the play, and they do pick up the conversion on third down. Well, partner, what do you think? Might have been four down territory if they didn't pick it up, but... Yeah, it's a moot point now. I was curious, so if they didn't get it there, would they have gone for it? I guess we'll never know. Yeah, we didn't have to make that call, but I have a feeling both of us would have said, go for it. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and ten. Running straight ahead is Jacobs. And they're going to be set up down around the 15-yard line. 23 yards on the pickup there and a first. 
finished. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive. Because you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense getting a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. Here's a handoff to Jacobs. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. On the handoff, this is Jacobs. A three-yard pickup on second and four. Now they'll need to convert here on third and a little more than a yard. That's some good tackling there to keep him short of that yellow line. Yeah, defensively, all I'm thinking is that on that play, get me to third down. Get me into a position where I can make one more play to get my defense off the field. Oh, that's into double coverage and intercepted. And the Broncos are going to take possession here as they've got it at their own four-yard line. So it was a drive that had real promise here to begin the third quarter, but ultimately derailed by the INT. And that was the position you wanted to be in, coming out to start this third quarter, get a nice drive going, looking for the end zone, possibly got a little bit too greedy right there. So now a look at the Broncos as they head back out there for their first possession of the second half. They take over here following the interception. That's the good news. The tough spot is the spot that they're in. That's inside the five in the shadow of their own goalposts here. First and ten. They begin the drive with Williams. And he has met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and ten. They'll stay on the ground with Williams. And that won't buy him much room. Just a one-yard gain to the five. The third down now. Those last two plays indicative of how things have gone for them. Just nowhere to go on the ground and struggling to put up points. Flushed out right. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. Give him eight yards that time on the scramble. And now fourth down. Before they can get the punt away, whistles as we've come to the end of the third quarter of action. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Back now in Las Vegas. Welcome back, everybody. It's the Broncos trailing, but they do have possession of the football as we begin quarter number four. There's Sam Martin now, standing about a yard deep in his own end zone. Oh, the return is Renfro. A nice punt, but a good run back as well, 13 yards. And the Raiders will have a short field to work with as they take over. The Vegas offense ready for their next possession. Their defense got the stop, forced the punt, and now you really start to monitor the clock as they nurse this slim lead. And to the 36-yard line, taken down there after getting eight yards. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run, got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. Saw it through three quarters, no reason to lighten up now. And he is going to lose yardage here. Minus nine yards on the play, and now it's third down. You know when I could tell this was going to end really badly? When he launched himself behind the line and made a beeline for the ball carry. You get one of those tactical machines in the middle on your trail, things are normally ending pretty quickly. Throwing his car on third down. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. He opted to go with a scramble, gets two yards, and now it's fourth. Nice call on defense, rolling out the nickel package for that big third down play, and he did an excellent job locking down coverage and forcing him to try and run for it, and he doesn't get there, which brings up a big fourth down call. And a fake here, direct snap to the up man, and he will not make it. They stop him short of the first down. A little trickeration there, but it doesn't fool him. And the Broncos will take over on downs. The Broncos onto the field, ready to start their next drive. 
These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. Nifty move by Gordon. They'll give him four yards there. And now third down and six to go. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. On third down, Wilson. Working the sideline here. Did he get the feet in? Yes, they say that he did. Nice job tapping both of them down. A Bronco first down there, 12 yards on the play. This defense has certainly had an outstanding second half, haven't they? I know they just gave up a first down there, and for the offense, they're hoping that that's something they can jumpstart with and maybe start to move the ball. They're looking for Judy, but it's intercepted. Picked off by Nate Hobbs. And the Raiders are going to take possession here at their own 33. Brandon, offensively, this has been a tough day for them. Trying to find a place to throw the football. It's been extremely difficult. I've got to give a lot of credit to... Now the Raiders offense, they get set to head back on the field. Another important fourth quarter series coming up. That last INT helping to maintain their slim advantage. Carr and the Raiders come up first and 10 at the 33-yard line. He'll give it to Jacobs to start the drive. He'll get it across the 35. It'll be second down. Second down, Jacobs once more. And the hole closes quickly there. He gets maybe a couple up to the 38. This a big play for both sides. What will we see here? Third and four. Carr going to leave this for Drake on the draw. And he's taken down at the 43, but not before picking up the first. We've got a one-score game with inside of two minutes remaining. So it's Raider football as we get you reset. They've got a first and ten as they look to try and finish this one off. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. Carr going to give it to Jacobs. Stops shy of the 45 despite some powerful running. And whistles, and we're going to have another stoppage of play as they call the timeout on defense with 1.53 left. So second and nine, and you'd have to figure just about all 11 probably crashing the line here. Once again, it's Jacobs. And a minimal gain here as he's up to about the 47-yard line. Now the Broncos going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. A nickel set defensively for the Broncos here on third down. Car to throw. And yeah, that one's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Partner for once in my life, I'll be succinct. In a one-possession game, Every single stop like that could be a difference maker. Here's A.J. Cole now as he'll punt it away for the second time. First kick, 47. This one looks good as well. And a nice job here to down this one right on the five-yard line. You need to get the ball away here in the fourth quarter while you just hold a slim lead. But that punt, absolutely ideal. They pin them inside the five-yard line. They give their defense a really nice opportunity. So here is Wilson and the Broncos. Down 14 to 7. A minute 36 to go. They'll have to go 90 plus yards, and a field goal does them no good as they've got it with a first down. 
And the first play of the drive there is incomplete. He was unable to complete it there. And just not the game that you would expect from him. He's been off the mark really start to finish. And it makes you wonder what exactly is going on. Is he a little bit dinged up here? Or is he just off just by a bit? Maybe he can get it back in this situation. He'll need to. He's got Gordon, and he'll be corralled well upfield right around the 40-yard line. First down now, but the clock continues to move. Now this one over the middle, into the hands of his tight end, complete. And yes, he's into the end zone. So they get the late score they needed, and now the extra point can tie this thing up in the final minute. forget the extra point it's up and good and partner we've got a tie game here in the fourth this one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away taken at the goal line and no alley to be found the coverage was solid and he's dropped at the 18 the Raider offense now making their way toward the huddle well, partner, here it is. They've got the chance to win the game. You'd have to think they need to get it near the opposite 40 to have a chance to kick a game-winning field goal. We'll see what they can do. And you're right about that, because if we look at it in macro, that's what it looks like. But I think in micro, the head coach has already asked the special teams coach, what is he feeling? What does he think? Where does he want the football? What's the yard line we have to get? And he's already relayed that to his quarterback and his offense. They know what the goal is. Now the key, can they get there? The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Carr. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by Kareem Jackson. And he's able to take this one back to the 36-yard line. He exited the pocket trying to improvise. That was a tough throw, and unfortunately, it wound up in the wrong pair of hands. And Brandon, when you're on the run, sometimes your downfield vision can get skewed just a bit. Now, the beauty of extending a play is sometimes your receivers find their way open, but oftentimes you end up closing down part of the field and bringing those defenders to the ball, and that one was picked off. And the clock will now stop as a timeout is called with five seconds left. So this thing rests on the shoulders of Brandon McManus. He missed his only attempt earlier. This time he's going for the win. And his kick is good. And it's celebration time on that sideline as they have taken the lead in the final seconds. And I tell you, when it comes to needing a field goal in closing seconds, pressure situation, there's something to be said for having a veteran kicker trot out there. Agreed. It's so nice to have someone you can rely on, someone who you know has done it before. And this guy's as cool as they come, isn't he? Well, this one, partner, was fun down at the very end. They got the points late right before the whistle. Then the ensuing kickoff. They were hoping for magic on the other side, but couldn't get that spark. Fun if you won, and <laughs> fun for us, because we got to watch it and call it. That magic that you were talking about didn't occur at the end, 